G'day, I'm Mark from Tasmanian Off-Road Adventures. This is another 4x4 and gear review video, and today I am reviewing the Hillbilly Compact Fire Dish, which is in this bag. Now, for those of you who don't know Hillbilly, it probably means you don't go to four-wheel drive shows a whole lot because these guys go around to a lot of four-wheel drive shows. I go to the, the Melbourne four-wheel drive show every year, and I go to Agfest down here in Tassie every year. They're always at the Melbourne four-wheel drive show. They're at Agfest usually every second year because they did tell me uh, it clashes with another show in New South Wales, but they're very active on that, that show circuit. They're Australian company, they're Australian made products. Um, I absolutely love Hillbilly gear, so I'll get that out of the way straight away. I've got a heap of their fry pans and other bits and pieces, which I'll do another review on another time. But this one is just on their compact fire dish. It's basically a fire pot. I'm gonna take it out of its bag because you can't really see what's going on here until I take it out. Now, before I get there, it does come in this really cool bag um, that's basically made out of like tarp type material, and it looks, a lot like the bags that my Southern Cross canvas tents come in. I'm not saying they made it, but it's very, very similar. But it doesn't matter anyway, because they don't use this bag anymore. Jumped on the website just prior to starting filming to have a look and just make sure, see if there was any updates. And they actually make a canvas bag with Velcro strips on it now. So probably disregard me undoing this bag because it's not really applicable. I'll undo it anyway. Now, I'm not sure how the new ones are packaged, but this comes, obviously the bag I've just taken off, but there's another two bags around that as well, so it's really well protected. I'm not sure what comes in the, the current version in the canvas bag. Let's just take that out. I'm actually gonna leave that one there. And it out like so. So basically, as I said, it's a compact fire dish. It's basically a fire pot, a portable fire pot to take camping. Now I haven't actually taken this out of the bag since I used it last on a camping trip about a month ago. Uh, this is the lid. Now, the really obvious thing I'll point out straight away is that it's rusty. It's made out of black steel and I'm jumping the gun here a bit because I was going to talk about this bit later but now You've seen it, I'll let you know, because the one negative I have, or the one thing I don't like about this is that it's rusty. So, um, you know, I normally wear a pair of Riggers gloves because um, you can get rust in that on you when you're setting it up. It doesn't matter too much when you're packing it away as well. But since I bought this, I've had this for about seven or eight years. Since then, they've actually got a stainless steel version. So the black steel version is 175 bucks. The stainless steel version is 260 bucks. If you are looking to buy one of these, buy the stainless steel one. Otherwise, it's gonna be all rusty like this. They don't have that problem with their, their fry pans and that stuff because you've seasoned them and you're putting oil on them all the time. It's not really feasible to be going around putting oil on this, but I'll just sit that down there for a moment and get this set up. So, this is the dish. Now, this is the ring that goes around it. Now, normally that comes off, but this, as I said, is rusty and it's actually rusted on and there was never a need to take it off, so it's just on there all the time. Uh, the legs are 12, I think they're 12 mil. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're 12 mil. They're just coach bolts, and there's nuts welded on the bottom here, so the legs simply screw on. Like so, really simple design. They're quite a coarse thread, so no chance of you know, cross -thread, uh, threading or anything silly like that. Bit of ash and stuff still in there. And the third leg on. I'm just going to empty the ash out of this over here. Like that. And I'll get rid of that bag. And it just fits on the table now. Clearly, you wouldn't sit on a plastic table. <laughs> uh, there is a, a hole down here, it's about a quarter inch hole six mil hole in the bottom just to let stuff drop out. Now when we take this camping we actually carry a paver with us. It's a 300 square like a like a pay like a concrete paver that we sit under this just to protect the grass. Um, if you wanted to you could get some longer coach bolts or longer bolts uh, and have this sitting off high but as is um, the bottom of this here to the ground is about 140 millimeters 
and the ground to the top of that, uh, I think I measured that at 300 millimetres. In diameter it's 550 mil, so you can fit a decent size log on there, uh, timber, firewood, so you can get a decent fire. Now, there's a few things I really like with this. Uh, one is that it's more of an open fire, so if people are using, uh, you know, fire pits made out of gas bottles and stuff like that, it's very concentrated and yet the flame just comes out of the top. But because this is so, because it's low and it's so open, it's just like having a normal campfire, as in the, the width of it, but it's just lifted off the ground and obviously not burning the ground. So I really like that. It's, it's more of a yeah, traditional sort of open fire type thing. Uh, the other cool thing is that you can cook on it. Um, now I don't actually own this, but they do make a uh, cook, what they call a cook stand, it's this hillbilly, and it's basically a, a rod that you hammer it into the ground and then it's got arms on it with pots and pans and all sorts of things and check out the website because they're really really cool. I'm hoping that someone's going to buy me <laughs> a cook stand, i.e. my wife and kids for Father's Day or my birthday or Christmas or something, anything, because I really want uh, I really want a cook stand. They come in a few different variations but check them out on the website, they, they look really cool. So you can use that, this fire dish is designed to work with the cook stand. They also do a spit uh, where you put a, another, again, a, like a spike or a rod in the ground and they've got this 12 volt uh, operated spit. I haven't got that either. We just purely use this as a uh, campfire, a, a um, fire pot basically. And we do sometimes put, you know, if there's logs on there, we put a pan on there and we just, you know, sit the pan on the logs so you can still cook with it. But it's a really, really good piece of gear. and. As I said at the start, and you've probably the way I'm talking hints at it a lot, is that I really, really like the Hillbilly gear. It's all Australian made, uh, just a, a local little company. Uh, I think they're just out of Melbourne, um, and their gear's top notch. Uh, so if you've been to yeah, the Melbourne Four Wheel Drive show or something, they probably go to lots of others too. You will have seen their gear. Check it out. It's awesome. It's not cheap, uh, but it's good value if that makes sense because it's going to last forever. So it's really good. Uh, I think that's, I don't have any real negatives about this apart from the fact that it's black steel and if I had my time again uh, I'd get the stainless steel one but as I said it wasn't actually, they didn't have stainless steel at the time. I think I got this when they first come out I think uh, but the stainless steel one would be the duck's guts but this one is still really good too. Um, size wise it packs up quite small so uh, when you put the lid back in and you flip the lid upside down the height of it is somewhere around 160 millimetres, it's obviously I said 550 in diameter, um, so it does pack up to be quite small. Um, now it's probably not something you want to be lugging around in the four-wheel drive a lot, but this actually lives in the camper trailer, so we take that, um, anytime we take the camper trailer we take this. Normally if I'm camping out of the four-wheel drive it's normally somewhere where we can just uh, have, a, a, have an open fire in, a, in an existing fire pit or whatever. But yeah, no, we do take this and a couple of um, the most popular spots we go camping, we'll take the kids camping to. You can have a fire as long as it's in a fire pot, so this suits it perfectly. So, but having said that, I mean, compared to what the, the opposition is, I know there's some like really compact ones, but for this, uh, I mean, it certainly doesn't take up any more room than those sort of gas bottle type fire pots or, you know, the old dishwashing tub, um, washing machine tubs. People use those as fire pits, it certainly doesn't take up that much. So, all in all, I'm really happy. Uh, not a very critical review because there's nothing to criticise. Uh, it's just another really good piece of camping gear that I just wanted to let everyone know. I, I, a few months ago I did some videos and just showed some of my favourite camping gear and I actually forgot some of the stuff so this is one of the things. I will have more hillbilly reviews uh, coming up soon because I want to do a thing on their pots and pans and when my birthday is coming up soon and when my wife and kids buy me a hillbilly cook stand I will review that So, and I'm sure that it will be a, <laughs> another nice uh, bit of kit from hillbilly. That's enough for this video, um, keep watching for more 4x4 and gear reviews and like the video if you like it and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.